Hello, Year Five. So we're going to carry on with metric units today. Okay, this is your second to last lesson of home learning again. I hope until we come back next week. So it's going to be a similar recap on yesterday's lesson because obviously that was more of an introduction to metric units. It's going to be a little bit more in depth for you today. There will be a worksheet, and for those of you that you know you're craving for a deeper activity, there are some challenge questions and an extension challenge if you would like one. Okay. So let's warm your brains up a little bit more this morning, although for all I know, this is the last lesson you've done today, so maybe your brains are already really warm, but let's do it anyway. So fluency, I've thrown in a fraction one in here. Okay, it's been a while since we've done some fractions and you're going to need it. Okay, your fraction knowledge for one of the questions for today. So I want you to have a go at doing A, C and D. Okay, in your heads, so mental arithmetic, and then B and E, I'd like to have a go at using a written method. Okay, so as always, find something that's got a timer on it, set yourself a five-minute timer, pause the video, and have a go. Okay, two-fifths of 60 is 24. Okay, 60 divided by the denominator, multiplied by the numerator, remember that for today. B, the answer is 10,901. C is 5.6. Okay, you should know this. We've done a lot of dividing by 10, 100,000 this week. Uh, D is 52. And E, multiple answers. I guarantee you some of you have done probably every single one of these answers. Is either 86 remainder 2, 86 and 2 sixths. Or if you did a recurring decimal, would have been 86.33. Okay, that's a mean one. Okay, because I don't ever really give you ones remainders in, but I thought, why not? Okay, so well done if you got all five of those correct. They were a hard bunch for some of you for today. If you got anything wrong though, go back and double check where it is that you went wrong. Okay, so that you know for next time. Quick test then of your knowledge. Okay, based on what we've done uh, this week so far. So I want you to say find one fifth of a hundred is the same as a hundred divided by what? Might have sneakily if you just told you the answer to that one. Then tell me what a fifth of a hundred is. One pound is the same as how many 20p coins and four pounds is the same as how many 20p coins. Think about how you get from one to four. That might help you work out the answer to that without working anything out. So pause the timer, pause the timer, pause the video, get your timer out and have a go. Okay, so the first one, okay, we divide it by the denominator. Just said that on the slide before, okay? Divide by the denominator, multiply by the numerator. So a fifth of 100 is 20, okay? One pound is the same as five 20p coins, okay? If we know that one fifth is 20, we know that's got to be 20 times by five because we're finding five parts. Easy peasy. To get from one pound to four pounds, multiply by four, four times five, 20. Easy peasy when you know your number bonds and you know your times tables. Don't know your times tables and you can do it that easily, you know you need to practice your times tables. Okay, so a little recap from them from yesterday. So we know that the bottom numbers here represent our centimeters, and the little lines that go in between the centimeters represent our millimeters. So we know that 10 millimeters is the same as one centimeter. So using our number line, then, okay, we know that one millimeter, okay, is the same as one tenth of a centimeter. Mm, okay, so we've now not just broken it down from millimeters to centimeters but now we're breaking down millimeters within centimeters into meters okay so if we know that each millimeter is worth a tenth okay if i had 90 millimeters and divided by 10 okay how many centimeters would that be good it'd be nine centimeters if I had 94 millimeters what would that be good it'd be nine whole centimeters with four left over so it would be 9.4 easy peasy now that you know that pause video can you fill in my missing measurements Okay, so 30 millimetres, it's 3 millimetres, okay? Centimetres here for millimetres, divided by 10, it's 3.7, okay? If you imagine the decimals then divided by 10, you move it one decimal place, your numbers move one decimal place, 3.7. So, now we're going to have a look at it from centimetres to metres, and we're going to break down each one of these uh, 10 lots of centimetres into millimetres, okay? So this is where it gets slightly more challenging. So, we know that from 0 to 10, Okay, that's 10 centimetres. We know that one centimetre is 10 millimetres. So if I have 10 lots of 10, that means that there must be 100 millimetres per 10 centimetres. So for 20 centimetres, that's 200 millimetres, 300, 400, and so on, all the way up to 1,000. So that means 1,000 millimetres is the same as one metre. Okay, bear that in mind. Now that I know that then, if I know that 1,000 millimetres is 1 metre, how many centimetres is going to be in 19 metres? 
Okay, so I know that 19 meters is going to be uh, 19,000 millimeters. I know if I then divide that by 1,000, that's going to give me 1,900. 19 meters is the same as how many millimeters? Well, we know that's going to be 19 times 1,000 is going to be 1,900. Okay, so we know that 10 millimeters is one centimeter. 10 centimeters is the same as 100 millimeters. And a thousand millimeters is the same as one meter. So now we've actually broken it down into that extra smaller step. Okay, so we then start multiplying by 10, then we multiply it by 100, then we multiply it by, good, a thousand. Okay, so here's the blank number line again. Okay, now I've got my meters going up here in decimals. Each one of these is worth 10 centimeters, and we're only going up to one meter. Okay, so how many centimeters would 5.9 meters be? Okay, let's break it down. 5.9 meters. We know that the 5 is going to be meters and the 9 is going to be our centimeters. Anything beyond that is then going to be our millimeters. So if I've got 5 meters and 0.9 meters, I know that 5 meters, 1 meter is 100, so 5 meters is 500. I know that 0.9 is going to be 90, so it's going to be 90 centimeters. Add those together, it's 590 centimeters. Easy peasy. Okay, the number line helps though if you get stuck. Now that you know that, we need to pause the video. Can you tell me my missing measurements? Okay, so 3.2 meters is the same as 320 millimeters. Okay, so we divide, multiply it by 100, move your decimal twice, 320. 3.02 meters. Now that there, that two there represents the millimeters. So if we work that out, that's 300 centimeters and 0.02 meters. Okay, so two hundredth of a metre there, okay, is actually going to be two centimetres. So three hundred out of the two centimetres there is three hundred and two. Okay, so we've broken it down so it's even smaller there. Now that you know that, I want you to pause the video and see if you can have a good do have a go, have a do, have a go at questions one to four on your worksheet. Okay, let's put it in to a problem solving context then. So Ron and Whitney have each drawn a line, and Whitney says, well, my line is one-fifth of a metre long. And Ron says, well, my line is 180 millimetres long. We need to work out what the difference is between those lines, and I want you to give the answer in centimetres, okay? So I need to think to myself, well, I know that his is 180 millimetres long. Do we know how long Whitney's is? No. It says, my line is one-fifth of a metre Long. So I know the measurement there, I've got there is metres, so I've got one metre is 100 centimetres, okay. And then Whitney says, well, mine's one fifth. Now going back to the fractions question at the beginning, how do I work that out? Correct. I'm going to find a fifth of 100, okay. So a fifth of 100, we know is 100 divided by 5, good, multiply by 1, which is, thank you, okay, to 20 centimetres, okay. Ron then says, well, my line's 180 millimetres. Well, now I'm looking at centimetres and I'm looking at millimetres, so what do I need to do now? Good, I need to make them the same, okay? So I think the easiest thing for me to do there is actually convert the millimetres into centimetres. I know that's going to be 18 centimetres. So I now know that Whitney's is 20 centimetres and I know that Ron's is 18 centimetres, but my question is, well, what's the difference in length between the lines? So how do I work out the difference? If Whitney's is 20 and Ron's is 18, how do I work out the difference? Ah, okay, so I'm gonna do 20 take away 18. And what's 20 take away 18? Two centimeters. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, okay? That's why your fraction knowledge was important there to know that from the start of the lesson. So, now that you've had a go at that one, I want you to have a go at doing the rest of the questions on your worksheet. I have also sent some of the extension challenges for you guys to have a go at. And if you need an open-ended problem-solving question, because you still found that too easy, which the majority of you usually do, I have added a further extension challenge on there for you to have a go at. All right? See how you get on with the ones on the worksheet first. Obviously, ordinarily, I wouldn't make some of you do all of the worksheet questions, but because we're not doing this face-to-face, -face, I can't be assured that you do know exactly what you're doing. So have a go at all of them anyway. It's no harm in the extra practice. And have a go at the challenge questions. And we'll see how you get on ready for tomorrow's lesson. All right? Good luck, you five.